well, you guys, Heather Dahl is a masterful Canadian leader. I have learned so much from her. She has been with Young Living a few years and I, I first met her and I was awestruck. I was only in Young Living a couple of months and I went to Kelowna to an event where Richard Brooke was going to be and there was a diamond dinner and Heather was a speaker at this diamond dinner and all sitting at the diamond table and I was just so bedazzled by her and the way she speaks and I wanted to soak her in and then, and then we ended up at a retreat together and she's like family to me now and she's still I was taking a million notes from her at our retreat so she I'm just so so grateful that she's joined us and she can tell us her story and she predates Gary's passing so I know that she has some um, memories with him and I'm just going to pass it off to my dear dear Heather. Well, thank you for inviting me to this. I am uh, I'm just going to tell you a little story about I get my hair done today. So it's like super flat. Don't care. <laughs> it's color cut day today. You all know what that's like, right? Because yeah. Um, so yeah, I have actually been in Young Living now almost nine years. I have definitely been to a, quite a few functions and um, trainings with Gary Young. He was one of a kind. <laughs> yeah. There was nothing compliant about the man, which was wonderful. I will never forget, we were in Hawaii at, um, it was our, I think it was our diamond trip and we were at the farm and I said to him, Gary, did you know that Slave Lake is burning? And he said, I know, I heard. And he said, but I will never give another dime to Red Cross again. All right then. So he proceeded to tell me the story as to why because he had donated money I forget, it was um, like one of the countries that the earthquake happened and they rebuilt the homes and schools and that kind of thing. He donated somewhere like around $150,000, $200,000, whatever it was, <clears throat> and they never got it. So he has realized that the money that you're donating to Red Cross just goes to Red Cross. It doesn't get to the people that need it. So when he wants to donate money, just like the Young Living Foundation, when they want to donate money, they go to the source. They do not go through these other companies. It's much like when you donate to cancer, right? When you donate $100 to cancer, 10 cents gets to the cause kind of thing. So I was like, oh, right. And he was so passionate about that. I'm like, all right then, Gary. So let's change the subject. <laughs> but it was awesome. Like he was... Yeah, he was really good. Um, he also, we were, so kind of a backstory. We were in a different MLM before that um, wasn't the best kind. They were all about money and um, how much your genes were. And I don't know, it was just, it was ugly. So um, Wade, when that's my husband, we, when I started with Young Living, I didn't really, I didn't really expect a business like that happened, but it happened. And I ended up winning a trip to Alaska on a cruise ship. So we've never done a cruise ship and we've never been to Alaska. And I said to my husband, oh my gosh, I won this trip. Blah, blah, blah. He goes, well, I'm not going. Um, yeah, you are. You're, you're, oh, thanks, honey. Um, yeah, you are. You got to go. And he goes, no, I'm not going. It's with a bunch of MLM, ugh, ugh, right? So anyway, he went because I kind of gave it to him as a gift. And uh, um, we went and there was 400 people on this cruise ship from Young Living. That's it. Because normally now, if you were to take one of those trips, the whole cruise ship is Young Living. Well, of course not anymore, but you know, after that. But back then it was just so few people. And I remember going, because whenever you do anything with Young Living, as I'm sure you all know, it's all education, which is the part I love the most. So we went into this room with this stage and <laughs> Gary Young was talking and Wade goes, who's the farmer on stage? I'm like, it's Gary Young. He goes, oh, <laughs> and he really started to listen because 
the guy wasn't like boastful. He wasn't um, arrogant. He was just loving. He was compassionate. He was teaching us all these kinds of things. And the stories that happened up on that stage were crazy. Like a grandma was up there with her little guy, 15 month old um, little guy that had had, you know, hot water spilled on him. And um, he, she showed the pictures of him all like, you know, looking like a mummy with all the white tape and all that or white gauze. And he had this pacifier in his mouth, like saddest picture ever. And the doctor said, oh, you know, he's going to go through a lot of um, grafting, skin grafting, and he's going to have to have a lot of different procedures and surgeries. And the grandma's like, okay, can I have 24 hours? And the guy, the doctor said, yeah, <laughs> probably rolled their eyes, right? Sure. So they gave her 24 hours and she called in all like her friends and whatnot. And what they did was they misted this little baby with lavender oil and water in a bottle. Like they just kept shaking it, but they misted him every 15 minutes. And she took progression pictures as it went along literally in 24 hours he was a different child and in a week he was out of the hospital and the doctors are like that's crazy so he's been written up in medical journals because it's like that amazing and another person on stage was a construction fella who cut his finger off at work well he can't work if he doesn't have his fingers so um they quickly put Halle Chrisom on it and um, got him to the hospital. And he, uh, <clears throat> he's fine. Like he, sh they showed the progression pictures for that too. Uh, they added a lot more oils after that, but just to get him there and he's totally fine. He's, his finger works. They, and of course the doctor said, you're not, you're going to lose this finger. Thanks for trying to save it. You're going to have nerve damage. He didn't, he didn't have any nerve damage. So it's pretty, <clears throat> pretty powerful. And so when we, it was my first time meeting him too. And then Wade went fishing with him. That was crazy in Alaska, went fishing with him. Like who does that? I'm like, you have no idea what just happened for you. You have no idea. So anyways, that's, uh, yeah, there's been a few more too. Like, I feel very fortunate that I was able to be with him like in different scenarios i mean i also saw the other side of him too there was a convention we had in calgary and there was a bunch of crap going on and we were in the back getting yelled at and that but that's just normal <laughs> he just he's passionate <laughs> yeah but yeah he it was um it was a fun time and i really i don't i know that this last year and a half has been Oh, strenuous. It's been like, I'm sure like many of you, I, like I go down the rabbit trail a lot and I have to climb myself up. I'm grateful for our oils. I'm grateful that I'm not getting deep down because I've been in the black hole before in my life where I've had to take the medication where I've, you know, almost like just wanted to end it up that kind of garbage. I don't even like to talk about anymore because I'm not that person, but I'm grateful for what we have. Um, if you've made it this far in this last year and a half, congratulations and good for you. <laughs> because um, so many of us, I mean, I, yes, I hit diamond, but do I, do I have a diamond rank right now? No, 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 I don't. The volume is there, but I have lost legs and structure and people are leaving and, it's okay. Like it, whatever is meant to work will work tonight. I am on my way to Spruce Grove, which is two hours away from here to do a business event for people. Monday, I am in Lloyd Minster to do another one. September 11th, we have a big one planned for Red Deer. Just keep your activity going. And because of you guys, um, and then Chelsea Flamin got the idea from, I think it was from you guys, right? So now we are doing a power hour as well. So it's, I love that we all work together with our ideas and that we can all, yeah, learn because it's- uh, So awesome. Uh, 
Heather, Amanda here, and Gwendolyn are, they have tickets to your <gasps> event in September. Yay! That's and exciting. It's their first live event because they're oh. both new. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Well, and you get Young Living there, you get LSP, you get Carla Green. Um, Chelsea, I've actually asked her to be a speaker now. I haven't announced it yet, so you guys are the first to know, but she's going to be a speaker too. Yeah, it's very exciting. It's so cool. It's and fun though too, like live events before when we used to have them, we'd put out the ticket sales. And if you didn't get your ticket that day, they were gone. This time, we're, I think people are still paralyzed, which is really sad, but we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. That's amazing. Uh, they've had Carla Green was a guest speaker on our Power Hour 2. So they'll get to meet her, which is really cool. And another girl, I think. Kendra has a ticket. Does she? Is not on. No, not yet. And I get to be kid free for the whole day. Oh, celebrate that. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's awesome. Um, well, Heather, can you tell, I, I told them about that you had like a magical oil experience when you first heard of or felt young living like at a um it was like at a health show but I didn't know about weights back yes okay so um I grew up using all the toxins um <laughs> I wasn't holistic I didn't even understand that part and I had I was born with eczema and asthma hmm I wonder if I would have grown up differently, if it would have been different, right? However, whatever. But my husband had broke his back was and lying on a couch in our living room. I had a kinked neck like this and I was really cranky because let's talk about emotions and let's talk about, you know, all that. So I, and we had a five-year-old at the time, but we were more like great grandparents. That's how we were acting. It was pretty bad. So I go to this trade show, you know, I've been to Cairo, acupuncture, massage. Oh, I also did all the pain pills, of course, because I'm in so much pain. So let's talk about what that's doing for my body. Right. But I didn't know that. So I go to this, I go to this trade show and this lady says to me, can I put something on your neck? Like I see your, you know, you look sore. And I'm like, well, I am, but sure so she put this liquid stuff on my neck and I thought I, I remember specifically rolling my eyes walking away and saying whatever a few minutes later a friend I'm with says so you're walking straighter I'm like oh, I know so I had to go back and say what is that well it was deep relief and I said uh-huh she goes, yeah, it's got like peppermint. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said like peppermint, peppermint is a leaf. Like does not, it's, it's not a liquid. And, and it's an, you tell me it's an oil. No, no, no. You cook with oils. You do not put oils on your skin. Like what is wrong with you? And she, I'm sure she was like, wow, I've got the crazy hair. So, um, she's, I said, yeah. And my husband's at home waiting for back surgery and, Oh, like our house is just a crazy time. So I think it was her turn to look at me like I'm crazy. And she goes, what have you got to lose? And I'm like, oh, you're right. What have I got to lose? So I took the kid home and I did exactly what she said on his back. Val at that time, Valor Panaway Peppermint, Valor Panaway Peppermint. And I did that probably four or five times a day. He was out of the house and in his shop in a week. And I'm like, <gasps> what are these magical things? Tell me more, right? And then I was like, okay, so, and that's when my business really started because then I couldn't shut my mouth. I just would tell my friends, my cousins, my whoever that would, that would listen, oh my gosh, you're never going to believe what these did. And then another thing that happened was my daughter was badly constipated for oh my gosh, probably close to a year of her life, starting around age four. And of course, I started at Young Living about five. And 
I found this whole network of people that actually wanted to help with any kind of situation and they didn't charge you. Like it was weird to me. So I went out and when I found this one group, I was talking about her constipation. And so they told me kind of some oils to use. And then another lady told me about um, colonics. And of course that's all, um, no chemicals, no medication, anything, just water going through your bowels, right? A five-year-old doing that wasn't a lot of fun, but it worked with Digeyes and we did Juvaflex and I had this whole protocol for her abdomen. Anyway, she's never had problems since. I'm like, hmm. Mm -hmm." So there's been a lot of those aha moments with the oils. And now it's the, and I've also had aha moments with the business. Um, We've had, like I had a, a member who has five children homeschooling. Um, She, her husband stepped out on her. So she said, cha-cha, chao, but then she invited him back into the marriage. All that was good, whatever. Um, but when he had left the first time, she thought, you know, I should, I should probably do something here because I don't want to um, put my kids into a private school. I don't want to go back to work. I still want to homeschool. I still want my life the way it was. So she actually started to figure out Young Living as a business she had, I think it was 12 kit sales one day, like she had an event at her house. So her paycheck was quite large. And then she went, oh, so she kept going. <clears throat> and then her husband back and forth, it definitely ended. Then he ended up taking his life. And that was horrific. Um, so she went through all that emotion and all that, but she was able to be at home with her children And the month after he took his life, she hit platinum. And that was without her being there or doing anything because she was still at home grieving with her kids, right? And that for me, Iram, I'll never forget that moment. Adam and I were on the phone with each other. I think I was in the closet crying on the floor, big puddle. I think he was in the same position somewhere at his house, you know, because it was just so unbelievable what can happen when you give it your all and and she also for probably two years after that how happened she didn't commit much time to her business but she had put in a lot of effort before that good thing right because then she was able to take that time for her kids but she's still making a, a commission so yeah that was a big eye opener for me too it's like wow Your plan B could be your plan A in a heartbeat, especially now today, which is what I'm talking to people about. Like, look at how, and and regardless of your thoughts on the jab, doesn't matter to me, you know, what your thoughts are. But my point is like, it shouldn't be someone telling you that you have to do. So these people that are in jobs that are being forced to do that, it's so wrong. And so that's the other thing that I'm also talking about when I'm doing a business presentation is maybe your plan B with this could end up to be your plan A if you strongly don't want that or whatever the case may be. But yeah. So how are you guys doing with your business during all this time? Are you still we can get complacent right and we can get paralyzed and we can stay in our homes and we cannot do anything which guilty 100 guilty yeah well heather how is your like you are such an event i remember hearing your schedule the year you hit diamond and you were flying every place to do events and then you figured out hey you can do the same thing from home <laughs> which was probably a massive like light switch for you before we all had to stay home. Um, So maybe you could speak to how you made that really successful because we've all been, we were face-to-face builders, right? And now we've all been switching to Zoom and we did Zoom classes for a year. And now it's just that comfort, uncomfort level of returning to people coming over and do you host them outside and do you do it inside? Do you stick with Zoom? Like what is your team what's the momentum building there with you guys 
we're back to face to face. I've been doing rollerball workshops, which has been fantastic because it gets people out. They get to take something home. Um, I just bought Amazon or roller bottles from Amazon. They were not very expensive. And I use all the oils from the premium starter kit. I made recipes like for chronic pain or for muscle pain, anxiety, sleep, blah, blah, blah. And then they just make, um, and I can send you that page of recipes if you want, but they, they just pick which one they want. Typically though, they want more than one. And I'll say, yeah, that's no problem. you can get that premium starter kit and you can make them all day long. And I have an intro during them making their own roller balls. They don't even, they're not even aware they were coming for that, but that's what they're getting. And uh, like, you know, you just kind of casually talk about each oil in the premium starter kit and what it's good for. And they're like, oh, I got that. Or, oh, my kid needs that. Or, oh, my husband needs that or whatever. And that's kind of how I've been doing it lately. Um, that's I started this. Yeah. I, and you used to only do five oils in the kit. Do you still do that? Like the blends and um, I at the rollerball workshop, it's kind of like, it's a feel of the audience almost mm -hmm. as to what I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't stick to the five oils so much. I don't really talk about all of them though, because it's overwhelming, but just a little bit for each one that I'm kind of zeroing in on. And, you know, it's fun because I learned about this in Arizona. I was in Arizona for the winter and I did a lot of rollerball workshops there because somebody from another um, team said to me, Heather, because I was new in a neighborhood and I said, I don't know what I'm going to do to get these people out. She goes, do a rollerball workshop. That's how that started. Wow. We all help each other. Right. And it was, but it's been fun because when you say, Hey, want to come to a class? Uh, hey, want to come to an intro? Uh, right. But yeah. if they want to make a rollerball and they get to take it home, that's really fun. And I'm going to guarantee you that you have all of those oils in your house anyways. It's not going to cost you anything to get those oils because it's very few drops that you're putting in for the roller balls. So your cost is the roller balls and a V6, but I'm sure you have V6 in your house too. So, and it doesn't take a lot of product in those roller balls. That's just one way to get people out. Now, also where you guys are, I don't know where your, um, uh, what your weather's like there, but I mean, you can do outside a lot. I bet more than we can here. Just an idea. So you brilliant. Have like a garden, garden rollerball workshop or something. I don't know. And it's not as complicated as all the DIYs where you're like, right? what, do I, what do we DIY that's brand new? What do we just like, really? Do you give them cute labels for them as well? Well, no, but you could. <laughs> 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 okay, so this is so funny. Jeline Hay, right? She's having her event in, in Kelowna. And I said, um, I was at corporate in Calgary. And I said, okay, if you guys are going out to Jeline's event, and then you're coming to my event, I said, I'm telling you one thing. I can't even draw a stick man. So when you go to Jeline's event and you see her beautiful event, because she puts on amazing events, she has a flipping sea can full of stuff for events. I go, when you come to mine, it isn't like that at all. I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> just laughed. I tell Jaleen that too. <laughs> yeah, she puts on amazing events. But it's you're so duplicable. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> it's a strategy, Heather. Go with it. <laughs> yeah, the duplicable part. So that's where I really screwed up when I when I started with Young Living was yes, I was flying everywhere. Yes, I was traveling everywhere, but that was not duplicable. And I had a lot of people that were like, I can't do that. So they didn't do it. They didn't even try. And I realized after that, oh, and I mean, I've flown to Winnipeg from Calgary and had no show. <laughs> so that was dumb, right? That, that costs a lot of money for what? So no, you don't have to do that. I, I in fact, I love for every negative, I think there comes a positive. And for this whole COVID thing, I think that was a huge positive that came out of it was that we can still build, but we don't have to be doing all these large events or doing all these things. It is nice to have your person to person thing for sure. 
but just so that pe other people that don't want to do that kind of thing can see how you can build. So that is what I do appreciate about the whole world that's happened. Um, there's a question in the comments. Do you charge for your roller bottles? Nope. <laughs> I don't. No, because the roller bottles, like I just bought them from Amazon and they were so inexpensive. Um, I think it was like 20 bucks for 12. I can't even remember the price of them, but I think to myself, okay, if I have even two people buy kits, then it's all good. Right. And, and have you had good kit sales from? Athens? Yeah. So when I was in Arizona doing them, <coughs> I would have kind of six people at a time and normally five of those would buy kits. So that worked out really well. Red Deer, I ha I'm, have a place now in Red Deer because I'm in a acreage area. So there's a store in Red Deer called Glow Juicery that they built a beautiful patio. So I'm going to start having rollerball workshops there and I can have up to 10 people like that's just what our space allows. So I'm going to start doing that just because I think it's people will go out there before they come to my house out in an acreage. So, yeah. You can have them anywhere. Like it, it's fun. And yeah, you can make pretty labels. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a Sharpie and a sticky <laughs> label it. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Well, I know they're going to be excited to get, if you could pass that on to me and I'll, I'll pass Bill, it I'll send you that PDF as Thank soon as you. we're done. Okay. We've got a uh, one minute left. Does anybody have a question? It's kind of floating. What size of the rollers do you do? <clears throat> They're just like the 10 mil and you can get, and I got like the pretty ones that are pink and blue and blah, blah, blah. Like you can, yeah, there's all kinds on there. I love it. Anybody else? Oh, thank you so much. It's a really fun idea. And I had little, I'll send you the PDF too for the cards that I had for the invite. You can, you're welcome to use them. I had somebody again, I don't make graphics. So I had somebody that made it for me and uh, I did print them off at Vista, but honestly, yeah. I didn't need to do that either because you just can send them via messenger or whatever. But what you can do with them, my name is on there, but you could just, uh, I don't know, go to word swag or whatever. And just then go over that part yeah. with, with your own name or something like just use them. I don't care. But yeah, what's yeah. great about these little invites is that it says RSVP me for the address so that you could have it anywhere. And then it, it has three spots. Cause I always give people options Tuesday at seven, Thursday at two, like whatever. And then they RSVP me with the time they're coming and then they get the address at the same time. So yeah, you're more than welcome to use those invites. Like I said, my name's not that big on it, so it's not that hard to copy over. Yeah, that Brenda's holding that up. I just wanted to show you, this is a bottle that I got from Amazon and they're brown. Um, they've got yeah. a nice gold top, they're the 10 mil and they come with a label and I just write on with a small Sharpie. This one's been well used. That's my husband's for his psoriasis, but you just write on there what it is, whatever you want to write. And they come yeah. with the bottles. Look they at don't, you with they, the Sharpie. You're my person. <laughs> <laughs> These, I, I'll show you this. My one. daughter has a label maker, Gwendolyn, down here. She has a lovely label maker. She can make them fancy and all oh, small yeah. and big. And they look so nice. I'm it totally jealous of those people. It was different to me. This is the some of the ones. Ah. And they come with labels. Those are so Funny. pretty. Yes, they are. Yeah, I right? saw those and just on there too. On, like, yeah. Well, it's Funny. super fun. Yeah. And then they get to pick their color and then they get to pick their recipe. You know, so it's just a fun little night that you didn't have to put much effort in. <laughs> and I think these were 24 in the know. box. Uh, Heather, you've taught me so much, especially classes. Like I will never forget. It was Heather that said, um, use the catalog. Can you just quickly tell them why? Because that changed my whole business and then we'll sign off. Yeah. I used to do classes where I had a script and I, well, my very first classes. Oh my gosh. I should have won 
money off funniest home videos because seriously i um would write in notebooks because remember i know nothing so i'd write in notebooks you know what peppermint's for blah 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 because i think i i went to um, intro 101 probably seven times before things would start to sink in so anyways i do my own class and i go okay peppermint it's good for and i go through a notebook oh yeah uh headaches like oh it was brutal and my and they went on for hours i don't know why people stuck around it was brutal anyway then i did scripts because that was the big thing oh just get a script okay well that's boring you're reading off a script that wasn't me either. So then I discovered the product guide and in the product guide, it's completely um, compliant. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of information in there. And when people get home, <clears throat> they don't have to go find a script. They don't have to have notes in a book. It's all in a product guide. So that is completely duplicatable and simplistic. And there's a ton of inf information in there. Now, what I did though, was I went through it and kind of put little stickies on the top of the places that I really wanted to talk about. But I would say to them, when you get your premium starter kit, you're gonna get this in there. You go through this because it's got amazing information. Look at the information on NHPs. These are <clears throat> approved by Health Canada. Go and look and see which ones are good for which uses. And they're like, what? And then I'd say, now look at this section on seedlings, look at this section on the makeup. And they're like, I had no idea. I'm like, oh, I know, right? <laughs> and so the product guide has a wealth of information. We don't need to have all this other fancy stuff. That's what we need. So yeah. So and then I would only talk about five oils at my intro, but it kind of like, I don't know, it changes all the time. It depends on who's there. Cause there's a lot of time I talk about cedar wood. Cedar wood isn't even in a kit, but I have, I'm plus 50 and sleep is rough. <laughs> so hot talk about cedarwood. <laughs> and then I have a lot of people buy cedarwood along with their kids. So yeah. So it's awesome. I, and I remember you saying, then they get their kit. They're so excited and they want to justify why they bought it to their husband. So they go through the catalog and there they've done their first presentation. It's true. Yes. And the, and the worst part, and I, I was so guilty of this too, is the not following up. And I know you guys have heard this a gazillion times, but I did this too. When I first started, I was scared to talk about ER, scared to talk about the business opportunity and how many people I lost because of that. Oh, I could just cringe. But <clears throat> now it, I, I'll never forget Jeanette McLeod. She was at an event one time and she said to me, okay, so now you've sold this kit for $199.75 and you never called them again. That's rude. I'm like, right, that's rude. <laughs> so just remember to follow up. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, Heather, I adore you. And I'm so grateful that you joined our team and I'm going to share this video to the rest who couldn't make it. I know we're going to be buzzing about you tomorrow when we chat. <laughs> Oh, well, so thank, thank you. you. But thank I will pass on those two things. So you guys can go do rollerball workshops all day long. They're fun. 